Uh, but before we go today, uh, Scott Shepard's going to come and share with us. Where are you, Scott? There you are. Many of you uh, know and have known my dear friend and mentor, uh, Dr. Paul Clark. Um, Paul served as the Director of Music and Worship Ministries for our Tennessee Baptist Convention for 15 years. Uh, he also served as the conductor of the Tennessee Ladies Chorus, which uh, Miss Kim and Miss Joanne sing in, as well as the Baptist Men's Chorale. Uh, that Doug Braden and I have sung in for for many, many years now. Well, Paul suffered a severe stroke in 2015 and uh, has been unable to return to his ministry uh, due to health concerns. Uh, the search for Dr. Clark's successor began in February of this year. Uh, I did not seek this position initially. When friends and colleagues encouraged me to apply, I told them I'm very happy at FPC Paris. But I also agreed to pray about it. As Tracy and I prayed, we felt an unmistakable pull toward this new ministry. Early this past week, I accepted the call to become the new worship specialist for the Tennessee Baptist Convention. It is with deep sadness as well as excitement and anticipation that I'm offering my resignation from First Baptist Church so that I may begin this new ministry. Our final Sunday will be June 18th. Though my new ministry will require leaving this congregation, um, I am pleased to announce that my family will not be moving away from this community. I'll be setting up an office in the area, and due to uh, my travels around the state as a worship consultant, I will have my home base somewhere nearby. I know it goes without being said, but I love FPC Paris. I often imagined myself being here um, for the remainder of my ministry. Uh, I'm in no way leaving because I am unhappy. I'm leaving because I feel God is calling me to expand my ministry to our state. I love this church. If I were to sit here and try to count the ways you have blessed my life, I would cry through it worse than I'm already doing. <laughs> I love our staff, Trent, Larry, Angela, Shirley, our administrative staff, my wonderful pianist, Miss Sandy, my wonderful organist, Miss Kim. Our relationships have been strong from the very beginning, and I promise they remain strong. Thank you for 15 wonderful, wonderful years. I pray God's blessing upon you as you continue to serve. I love God faithfully as his church, and I cover your prayers for me as my family and I step off into this new chapter of our ministry. Thank you. said we weren't going to do this, but uh, we are so thankful. so grateful for everything that you have done and how you have led us and uh, we have no doubt 
the Lord has been preparing Scott for this time in his life for many years. Um, I think we all, if we were honest, we would admit in the back of our mind we knew this day would come. Um, I know um, Larry and I had a conversation several months ago uh, when we realized that Paul Clark probably would not be able to return to his position because of health issues. We, even before Scott said anything to us about it, we, we both kind of knew that probably they would come calling and that the Lord had uh, plans for Scott. And uh, while we are sad, we are also thankful and we rejoice with you and we celebrate with you what God's going to do for you and through you and how that you will be able to extend uh, your kingdom influence beyond just our church but all across the state of Tennessee and I predict even around the Southern Baptist Convention and so for that we are eternally grateful and uh, we will commit to pray for you and for your family and for your ministry and as he said, the good news is they're not leaving the community. Uh, and so we will still see you uh, regularly. Um, and so we ask that you pray for us as well as we make this transition. But uh, we, we are certainly um, proud for you. And uh, we will always be proud to say, that's our Scott. <laughs> that's our Scott Shepherd who's leading. Today... Um, we want to have a time of prayer as we conclude, and uh, I know that uh, many of you will want to take a time to come by and uh, extend uh, another word of congratulations to our graduates. Thank you so much for being a part of our service and to their families. Thank you all for being here today, and uh, you will also want to be praying for the Shepherd family as well. Would you join with me? Father in heaven, thank you. Father, thank you that every good and perfect gift comes from you. And that every good thing that we enjoy in this life is from you. Father, we are thankful for the many ways that you have gifted us. And Father, we are thankful that we have the privilege and the opportunity to to use those gifts that you have given us to serve you in our own generation. And Father, none of us knows how you will use us. But Father, you simply call us to make ourselves available for you to use. Father, I, I pray that every one of us would be willing to pray that prayer. God, not your will, not my will be done, but your will be done. Not what I want, but what do you want? Father, how do you want to use me? And, and Lord, I'm willing to surrender and I'm willing to go wherever you lead me. Father, that's our prayer today. And Father, we know that even as we step into the unknown, of whatever stage of life that might be. Father, you are with us. And you go before us. And you've prepared the way for us. And Father, we are just to stay close to you. Lord, we pray that in the coming days that you will beat these graduates, that you'll guide them. We pray that you'll be with Scott and his family, that you'll guide them. Lord, we pray that you'll be with us as a church, that we will cling to you, Lord, and we will listen closely to your voice guiding us along the way. Father, we praise you, and we thank you for being our God. In you we trust, and Father, because of that, we have nothing to fear, because you are our God. And Lord, we love you. And we thank you so much for loving us. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray.
Amen. Have a great week. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.